All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and I almost forgot to do this video because, uh, you know, I usually stream five days a week, Monday through Friday after the markets. And of course, you know, that just cuts into my, you know, work time, research time, personal time, video game time, of course. You know, any, anything that takes away away from my video games, you know, uh, you know, it, it better be important, you know. Uh, to me, that is. Okay, so uh, so Twitter's going on another band wave. Um, luckily, I still have access to the stock guy, so I guess now we can say his name. So it's Gregory Manorino, because he deleted his Twitter after getting a suspension from Twitter. So, uh, well, I mean, he's still going to have, I mean, oh, let's take a look. What's his gab again? Um, I guess I should have checked this, but that's yeah, okay. Let's go following. Uh, here we go. I mean, the problem is with everyone going to Gab, no one's really using it. Like, I still get more engagement on my stupid idiot Twitter, which sucks. But, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so I guess we have to wait on the newsletter. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, but I, mean, I kind of want to just... Keep it short because I kind of want to, I don't know, do something today. All right, because there's just too much crap for me to go through. Um, all right, so first things first is they're, okay, so the markets look like they're all over the place today. So markets all, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to title this, but they're, they're supposedly blaming the mixed stocks on the Johnson Johnson vaccine rollout. The problems with the blood clots, uh, which have been a known problem for a while. Uh, it, it's just all BS. I mean, I mean, I think markets are just simply flat because, you know, profit taking, consolidating, right? You know, because we're hitting all time new highs. So there's always going to be a, a, a lot of pullback. So it, it's just a cheap excuse. It really doesn't mean anything. And obviously they really want to pump out the vaccine. So that's why it's not an issue. Now, the good news is, Riot blockchain keeps going up, and they're also saying um, that the Coinbase IPO should be due out. I think it's actually due out tomorrow or the 15th, I forgot. But either way, I'm not actually going to buy the Coinbase IPO, because if you look at what Roblox did, I don't, know, I don't think it's here. But Roblox, when their IPO came out like a couple weeks ago or whatever, same thing. A uh, lot of hype, a lot of pump. Because everyone wants to get in, and then it goes down a lot, and then it comes now it's going back, then it's back up, and then now it's going normal. The same thing's going to happen with Coinbase. Also, I want the options on Coinbase. I don't want the actual stock, and that and there, that's a minimum requirement of two to three months. I, actually, let's just look it up because it's been a while. I mean, I doubt they changed the rules. Nasdaq options rules listing new IPO. I'll right, just write this. Uh, okay, never mind. When do NASDAQ options uh, appear on IPO? Uh, here we go. Here's yeah the five requirements. Under CBOE rules, there are five criteria that a stock must meet before it can have options as of December 2020. Th this should apply to NASDAQ, right? Uh, it doesn't say NASDAQ or NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, so I assume it's this should be all of them. Okay, so all five of these must be uh, met. So the underlying equity security must be properly registered as a whatever stock, which it should be. I mean, Coinbase is going to be huge. Yeah, free market transparency by ass. If there's one thing I learned about trading stocks, it's like the whole thing is completely rigged. It's all bullshit. The decentralized exchanges in cryptocurrency is far more freer. It's completely decentralized. It's, in fact, it's because it's decentralized that it's completely free. And I shouldn't say completely free of manipulation, but it's going to be a lot less. Because, because in order, because I was just thinking about it right before I hit the stream. In order, see, the reason why stocks are so well manipulated is because everything is centralized. So it's very easy for 
Because obviously, if you centralize everything, that means that implies that somebody at the top, a couple people usually, or a group of people, have control over everything. Of course, they're going to manipulate everything to you know benefit their own interests. You can't do that when everything's decentralized, right? Because you don't have that much power. No one has any power. So it really is a free market. And that's why they're going to try to take that out eventually. Uh, okay, so NASDAQ is an NMS, whatever the hell this is, National Market System. Okay, that's what it is. The company must have at least 7 million publicly held shares. That should be true. The RA stock must have at least 2,000 shareholders, right? I remember that. That should be easy. Trading volume must exceed 2.4 million shares in the past 12 months. Uh... Number five, we don't have to worry about. The training volume must equal or exceed 2.4 million shares in the past 12 months. Oh, this is total for 12 months. Well, that's easy. Um, okay. Well, this is actually... Yeah, this is actually brand new. This wasn't here the last time we checked. This was last year. I mean, I checked this last year before December. Yeah, this, these are all new rules. A company cannot have options trade on its stock until at least three business days after its IPO day. So we can actually start trading Coinbase IPO starting next week. So I'm actually gonna, we're going to be very interested. Okay, so okay, so let's test that. Let's test that right now. Let's look up Roblox. It's only been a couple of weeks. So they used to say you have to wait three, two to three months. Oh wow. So they did change the rule. Look, options are now trading on Roblox already, and they they already have the two year stuff. Oh, this is really good. That means so that means we could actually dump Riot if you know because it is a small because the only problem with Riot blockchain is it's it's a very small company. It has six employees. Uh, let me get my Star Trek Online rewards, and it relies entirely on just mining Bitcoin. Which is great, but the problem is it's a small company. Coinbase, on the other hand, you get the kind of benefit of Bitcoin because it's a Bitcoin company, but it actually makes its money off of just the trading fees, all right? Because every time you buy or sell in Coinbase, it says Coinbase fee. That's how they make their money. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, okay. I did not expect this at all. See, this is why it's always important to regu regularly test your assumptions. Um, oh, wow. Okay. This is very good. This is very, very good. So if we wanted to, we could maybe... Because I think Riot Blockchain will still make you more money, right? Because if you're obviously, cause obviously crypto is going haywire upwards, finally. Uh, but Coinbase options would be more stable. So you won't make as much money, but it also won't go down as much. And of course, it's an actual big profitable company. And on top of that, all the rich people in the world are doing all the crypto trading through Coinbase. So you know that Coinbase has a lot of actual power. Also, I have a vested interest because despite some of the censorship Coinbase is engaged in, uh, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, A, has realized the error of his ways, and then B, he also realizes that the Fed and other institutions are going to try to regulate Bitcoin and crypto and then completely fuck up, you know, Bitcoin. And, you know, Coinbase, that Coinbase is going to get hit very hard by that. They can't let that happen. So right now we're under authoritarian rule under Silicon Valley and big tech. Well, the next the next group of power people will be crypto people, you, me, Coinbase, etc. Um, so that will help even the odds. All right, so anyway, Riot Blockchain doing very well. Uh, it's still pretty far off from $73, $77 high or whatever. Uh, but, you know, well, what are you going to do? i uh, pretty sure my options will be... Re Actually, I'm going to log into my trading account. I want to see how much money uh, the options have... Because it's been getting hit pretty hard and it's finally going back up. And man, it's so far behind. Oh, piss off. It's gone up a couple dollars. All right, here we go. All right, it is up $318 per option, and it's up 237 Okay, so the numbers are looking a lot better, but still pretty far behind. All right, that's...
All right, that's fine. That's uh, that's how it goes. I also sold some something on Crex. Oh, okay, that's not much yet. All right, so that's Riot Blockchain, Bank of America, Exxon Mobil. Yeah, so it's doing its whatever. So things will things are just consolidating. They'll go up more because all the money that's because the money is so. Oh yeah, let's check bonds. Yeah, bonds are being bought as well. Okay, so this is very good, and the dollar is also down a little bit today too, right? Yeah, it's actually down a good amount, 20 cents. Yeah, this is very solid. This is just like, this is, all right, so the markets are kind of just profit taking, taking a breather. All the money, uh, some people are getting afraid of buying bonds, good. And, which is driving down the yield. And then dollar is down, so everything's going up. So all the money for today is flowing, is flowing into cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin has finally hit its all-time high. It's not going past it. Binance coin has been going straight up. It has to be pulling back, so it's probably going to do that today. XRP is actually up 32%. I mean, as much as I don't like XRP, it did occur to me that maybe it's going back. Maybe it wants to actually behave like Ethereum and Bitcoin, which is go back to its all-time high and then like go up a lot of money. The problem is the market cap doesn't make sense. So maybe XRP... Could go up to six dollars, right? Um, so me, uh, so yeah. If you want to buy some, I mean, I still don't like it. Um, but I mean, eh. I mean, I still rather have Cardano, which is doing fine. Finally, now it's a dollar thirty nine, dollar forty. Litecoin's going up. Yeah, all the money in the world is buying cryptocurrencies right now. So this is very good. Dogcoin, of course, popping off is twenty one percent. Still cheap at 8.4 cents, going much higher. And then, of course, my big ticket multi million dollar play is V Chain. So, uh, let's let's see. I bought V Chain on average for 8.9 to 9 cents. So, I've already almost doubled my money. Uh, and I put the vast majority of my money into V Chain. Uh, very solid decision. Very solid decision. So, I made 50% off of V Chain. Had I stayed in Litecoin, I guess I guess you could say that it was almost fifty percent gain in Litecoin too, right? Because it used to be one eighty, one ninety at the time, one ninety six. So a little less than half. So even if you didn't do anything, you had you just held Litecoin like I used to, you'd still be doing fine. You still made like fifty percent. Yeah. So basically, anything that you buy. That's in the, that's kind of a major coin on coin market cap. You, you'll just make a lot of money. Obviously, the safest thing to do would be the top twenty-five coins, top thirty. Uh, engine coin, all right, because it was recovering. Yeah, I said last time or in a stream or something about Hedera coin. I don't know. There's something not right about this. Like the technology sounds great, but the price action doesn't. Is it not consistent with it? So I already sold my Hedera back in the V chain. So I think what it is is maybe maybe Hedera is making a lot of promises they can't keep. But I mean, on the other hand, it's still number forty-eight. So I don't know. But there are just too many better options. Um, v chain. Yeah. See, I, I want to. I really want to see V chain hit that eighteen cents mark, nineteen cents mark, because then I double my money, and then from there, yeah. But the interesting thing is XRP. It's pretty obvious that the SEC has completely screwed up the case. So, because they actually said XRP was a digital currency, now they're backed in and calling it a security. So that's what the lawyer for XRP said, and he tweeted that out. So, actually, I tweeted that out. I tweet, I retweeted him with a comment. And he's like, "Yeah, so what? The SEC will not be receiving their Christmas bonus this year." Because that person completely fucked up the case, which is technically good. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's crypto. It's just going to go straight up. So we're going to be, so I'm thinking, so I'm thinking of selling my Ledger X calls at the end of April, trying to see how much profit that's worth, and then roll it over into the 2022 options. All right, because I want, because I originally wanted a two-year option, but when I bought my options, you know, they only had one year, the Ledger, and then Ledger X came out with the two year, you know, a couple weeks after. It was like, you know, it's stupid timing. But um, you know, that's just how it goes. 
But the interesting thing, again, will be the Coinbase IPO. So we will definitely cover that next Tuesday. By then, when is Coinbase IPO? It should be tomorrow. I know I covered this before. When is it coming out? Actually, uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, it is tomorrow. All right, it will go public with a direct listing tomorrow and will trade on NASDAQ under coin. Okay, so they said three business days. One, two, three. So it's perfect. I usually do things on Tuesday. So next Tuesday, it will be business day number four, the start of business day number four. So options should be public. Now, we're not gonna, I'm probably not going to buy anything. All right, because that would mean I have to sell my riot calls. Actually, I can't sell my riot calls because they're technically at a loss, and that wouldn't make any sense. Okay. All right, that's that's fine. I mean, riot's still a very good play. I mean, that's why I was willing to put all my or most of the stock market money into that. But with that being said, um, Bitcoin out, real estate giant to accept crypto for rent and Tom Brady joins the NFT boom. Yeah, these NFTs are really good. These NFTs are really good. I definitely want to get in on that, but I have to actually have something of value before I can NFT something. So in my case, I made seditionists, obviously, right, the game. So what I could do is I could take my source code that created this. I call it the first one because it is, right, or the final copy. And sell that as an NFT. So even if people had copies of the source code for my game, I could say, but I only approved this specific one and it can never be changed. That's what the NFT is, a non-fungible token. It basically marks something, in this case digital, as the original. And I have to bless it, you know, by signing it or whatever. And, that, and then you can never tamper with it. So that's why NFTs are important. I mean, it's a little hard to explain, but basically... Imagine if you had a baseball, a Babe Ruth baseball card, right? His rookie card. That's probably worth like fifty million dollars, whatever. And I'm just pulling a number out of thin air. But it's a, it's a, it's obviously a very rare, important card. Now, it would, it's pretty easy to counterfeit that. But if you could actually figure out the real one, then yeah, NFTs get rid of all the counterfeiting, and now you just have the actual thing, where it's like, hey, this is the original. Yeah, I'll pay you a lot of money for it. And it's what's even more ingenious is you can apparently code the NFT so that if the person who has the original NFT can sell to someone else, right, because, like, they don't want it anymore, you can code it so that the original owner keeps getting a residual income from it, like 5%, 10%. So you sell one F NFT, and then, you know, you, let, you, you just get free money over time. This is really good for, like, actors and celebrities, which is – so that's why I'm going to make a, uh, uh, an entertainment company. I'll, because automation, AI, and technology will work in my favor, and it's creative, and it's fun and fulfilling. And on top of that, as I've been saying, human beings will be replaced. They are being replaced right now by automation, immigration, artificial intelligence, robotics, etc., etc. I mean, did you see that video of Elon Musk with the Neuralink, Neuralink where like the chimpanzee, a literal chimpanzee, Chimp plays Pong, Elon. All right, I'm gonna actually show you. Where is the video? All right, Kurt, I don't wanna give CNN the stupid thing. Okay, you know what, go fuck yourself. All right, he's literally playing Bob with his mind. Yes, this is real, all right? You are getting replaced by this. <laughs> Oh, it's a little wacky because he's sucking on some kind of metal tube or whatever and my like, thing's covering it, but you know what? I'm going to make this the thumbnail, okay? This is your future. This is the future of humanity, all right? So, uh, yeah, we need to get ahead of the curve. So, Gregory Manorino is getting taken out, but he still has his newsletter, so go subscribe, gregorymanorino.substack.com. Because that's where I actually now get my referential stock market stuff from. Uh, and also, and he does everything. Gold, silver, stocks, of course. Um, he doesn't do bonds, though he knows about them. And right now there's no point in buying bonds because yield curve controlled by the Fed. So stupid play to buy bonds. 
and uh, of course, cryptocurrencies. So, you know, everything, we're all covered, right? It's just a matter of how much money are we going to make? In my case, I need to make millions of dollars. But I think if things go the way I think they might go, I could potentially make tens of millions of dollars. You know, so uh, it's very exciting. It's very exciting, right? So, uh, yeah, rides up 9 point to 10%. Uh, it needs to go up $17. Oh, my God, that's so long. All right, well, whatever. But yeah, I might be flipping my riot calls into Coinbase uh, options. But again, we'll explore that next week because I'm not going to obviously buy. I mean, yeah, I mean, I won't be buying that until at least probably the end of April. Uh, I could take the risk and then sell all my options, Ledger X and on the stock market account, and then try to wait for the pullback. I really don't like doing that. I really don't like doing that. However, I did call Filecoin correctly. So using this, but do I really want to, <laughs> do I really want to risk it for the biscuit here? Uh, let's see. Cause I know VeChain's RSI is really high. Oh, this is an extremely good sign. Yeah. Look at that. The RSI is going down, but the price of VeChain keeps going up and it's establishing a new support ceiling at the 14 cents or so. Oh, oh. God, it's so easy to make money. It's so, it's funny. Like, people are rioting over the Black Lives Matter stuff in Minneapolis and Chicago and wherever else. <laughs> and I'm actually okay with that because all these pieces of shit wanted Democrats to run everything. And, uh, you know, they screwed over Trump and Trump supporters, right? You get what you effing deserve, right? Like the Joker says. And on top of that, they're attacking the shitty cops that don't like us either. So, you know what? Let them have at each other. That will show people, hey, maybe you should listen to us next time. You know. Also, I don't live in Minneapolis, so I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. KKR seeks to raise $100 billion by next year. Um, KKR seeks to raise $100 billion by next year. Uh, I'm curious about this. You know, I, this could have been a good live stream, too, actually. Something kroner? That's the symbol for the kroner. The Danish kroner? I've never heard of this company, but they're worth like 252 billion? I guess they're like some sort of a weird hedge fund thing or something like Goldman Sachs. Alright, whatever. Tempo raises 220 million as home fitness market bulks up. Yeah, I already have my home fitness stuff, so. Yeah, that's the thing. Like they're just accelerating like technological trends and obsolete stuff. So, all right. So I covered crypto. I covered the bonds. I covered the markets. We're definitely going to look very hard at Coinbase options because I may want to change my riot calls into Coinbase options. Because if Co if Coinbase goes up, options go up as much as Riot, or maybe even just a slightly less, I would actually change my riot into Coinbase. Uh, options because it's just a more stable company but again i might just leave it in riot and then just ride it out so uh yeah all right so i will see you all either tonight or well not tonight after the uh thing make sure you type in htt yeah it's uh, https and then my trovo real johnson chan link all right i'll be live again after around 4 30 p.m eastern uh, if not, I'll, watch, I'll see you next week, and this will be the thumbnail, and $15 minimum wage. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to hire I'm gonna hire a literal chimpanzee that can play Pong with his mind and then do your job at the fast food restaurant. They, they already have a fully automated KFC in Russia. There's a YouTube video, but I don't feel like searching for it. We just do KFC automated store. Right, you know, I don't think you have to write the word Russia. And you'll just see it in action. They, it's it's run by like I shouldn't say fully automated, but it's like ninety nine percent automated. It's run by like two three people. That's it. Very few people. So uh, that's such a. <laughs> I love this thumbnail. I'll see you uh, after the markets closer next Tuesday. Thanks.